Uh, good evening, Saints. So, I'm going to bring a, a night vision I had a week ago from today, last Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to play a sample of Pastor Gino Jennings, and then we're going to go to Bible. And uh, I hope you take heed to these events that's about to take place. Jesus Christ, he's come in the flesh. Forgive us of our known or known sins. Bless the ears that hear this and bless the eyes that see it. Please, God, let them pay attention and to take your word serious. In Jesus Christ, thy name, and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. All right, here we go. I'm trying to wake y'all up. Trying to wake the church up. Against the wrong. You see how wicked they are? Listen. Love is, you, you don't over, you just overlook the one. Love cover a multitude of sins. <laughs> yeah, love cover it, but do you know what it means? Yeah. Love covering a multitude of sins, meaning God will forgive the multitude of sins because God is love. That's right. But God, God don't him. forgive you for your sins so you can stay in them. No, no, no. Come up out of the Babylon. Oh, yes. In Romans That's chapter Bible. 6 and verse 1. Romans chapter 6 and verse 1 says, What shall we say then? What? What? Shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? Shall we keep sinning? That grace. Hold up. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You out there always want to talk about God's love, God's grace. I believe in God love and God's grace because that's why we're here. That's right. But that grace should not be abused. That's right. That compassion should not be taken advantage of. That's right. For there's another scripture that says God will have mercy on whom? He will have mercy. That's right. Do you know the mercy of God can run out on your life? Oh, yes. God will tolerate you for a time. Even the Bible says, how God speak once, yea, twice, and man perceiveth it not. In a dream. In a, you know, God will chase you in your dream. You didn't want to hear this while you was wide awoke. You got angry and cussed it out when you was wide awoke. So God said, I get you in your sleep. In a dream. In the book of Job, the Bible says. In Job 33 and verse 14. Says what? For God speaketh once. God. God. You can't outrun God. No, no. You make an outrun the police after you don't rape that woman or sodomize that boy and carjack that family. Yeah. But you will never outrun God. That's right. God speak once. Yea, twice. Yea, twice. Yet man twice. perceiveth it not. And man ignore it. In a dream. So God say, I chase you. I go after you while you sleep. In a vision of the night. When what? When deep sleep falleth upon men. What do God do, son? In slumberings upon the bed. How do God work? Then he openeth God the ears openeth of the men. the ears of men. And, and sealeth their seal instruction. Their instruction for what reason? That he may withdraw that man from his purpose. withdraw man from his agenda. And hide pride from man. What is he doing? He keepeth back his soul from the pit. Why is God going after him in the dream he keepeth back his soul from the pit to keep you from going to hell that's right hmm. that's right hallelujah to keep you from going to hell and make you I'm dream going about this message that's right dream about you're a dream about it hallelujah. fighting back says fighting about giving up that second wife yeah. fighting about giving up that second husband fighting about burning up all that weed that's right fighting about being, I, I'm, I'm gonna be gay, I don't care what he said. Yeah. Pastor Jen, you shouldn't preach against it because my son is gay. That don't change the Bible. No. Well, my mother's gay. That don't change the Bible. Oh, no. Well, my father's gay. That don't change the Bible. That's right. That's right. So when they fight it while they're woke mm -hmm. and they think they push it off successfully, yeah. 
God said, I won't let you get away, rascal. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. wait till you sleep. In a dream. Mouth all drop open. That's yeah. right. Slobbing all over your pillow. Yeah. That's right. God said, I go after you at night. In a dream. In a dream. I make you dream about the baptism. That's right. I make you dream. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I make you dream about the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, talk. Go ahead. I make you dream about the voice. Hallelujah. I make you Hallelujah. dream about there's only Hallelujah. one God. Hallelujah. 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 I make a dream about it. In a dream. In a dream. In a vision of the night. What is a dream called? In a vision of the night. What is a dream called? A vision of the night. A dream is called a night vision. What happened? When deep sleep falls. What? When deep sleep. Deep, you're out there snoring. Deep sleep. <laughs> Somebody, you don't hear nothing going on. That's right. God is after you while you're in a deep sleep. In the vision of the night, when? When deep sleep falleth upon men. What do God do, son? In slumberings upon the bed. How do God work? Then he openeth the ears of men. Can you see that? Amen. Listen, God will chase ears. you. Oh, yeah. There my this cup. is a act of the grace and the love of God. That's right. That he will chase you down while you sleep. That's right. And make you dream about the miss the message that you thought you can outrun. That's right. Mm -hmm. So he'll bring the message right back to you. Amen. Repent. Mm -hmm. Be baptized. Mm -hmm. I got a letter. Thank God a man wrote me. And this was fulfilled in his life. Mm -hmm. He said, I cussed you out and yet kept washing you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost for 33 years. And I would not accept the fact I was wrong for 32 years. He said late one night he was fussing at me and watched me at the same time <coughs> and he fell asleep. Mm. He said he fell asleep in his room and all of a sudden later on he said his wife woke him up and said, what, what were you waking up for? What's wrong? She said, you was laying in bed and said, repent. <laughs> Hallelujah. Repent. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Repent. Hallelujah. That's wonderful. Glory to God. You won't get away from it. Hallelujah. Wife had to shake him. What's wrong with you? Wow. He had to wake him up. He was saying, repent. Amen. Repent. Amen. It was coming out of him. My Lord. Yeah? My Lord. It wasn't for long. He went to one of the locations Amen. and went down in water. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? Then he opened the ears of men. God. Open the ears, you young men mm -hmm. that's out here with your pants hanging down, raising your sons to be thugs and hoodlums and gangsters, yeah. and your son listen that you address other men in the neighborhood as dogs and pimps. And here you're so proud of your son, but you give him a title that's less than nothing. You tell, you introduce your son by saying, this is my little dog, this is my little pimp. How can you be so ignorant? That's right. Mm. God said, let us make men. That's right. God said, let us make men. Not dogs and pimps and heathens. Right? So, for God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, and he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. Now I'm about to tell y'all my dream vision and it's deep like I prayed about it. And some of y'all ain't gonna like it. Some of y'all ain't gonna believe it. But I was led to do it on this mountaintop. All right, this is the setting. I was in my dad's old convenience store, which my stepdad died January 11th, 2021. Okay, he was a Catholic. Now, I was surprised to see him in my dream, and I was surprised on how he acted and how he, he spoke, because when he was alive, he wasn't religious for real, he wasn't walking in spirit, but he believed in God, he repented, he prayed, he prayed a lot, more than what people 
thought that he did. And I know this because I was there the last months of his life. I took care of him. And uh, anyways, I'm, I'm in this store. Well, my stepdad and this old, it looked like a, a wise man with white hair, with a white beard. His name was John, like John the Revelator. They both had canes that was shaped like eagles. And I'm in the store, and now I'm just focused on what I was, I was excited to see my stepdad. I was like, Dad, Dad, you're here. Why is God showing me you? And I turn around, and there's John. Yes, yeah, John from Revelation with a cane shaped like an eagle, carved out like an eagle. Both of them, same. Well, I watched us uh, Prophecy with Stan. It used to be called Prophecy Club. The Prophecy Club still on Rumble. And John was like, it's time to order the food from Joseph's Kitchen. Don't forget Joseph's Kitchen. Because I finally got blessed with this money that me and my brother split from selling our, our step, my stepdad. But he was, he was my dad. He adopted me. And then my brother, that was his real dad. And... Uh, so I'm like, all right. So I was like, wow, I can't believe you just said that. And that's why I be watching. I be watching Prophecy with Stan on the daily, amongst other sound doctrine men and women of God. Now I turn and I go down the aisle where the drinks are supposed to be in the uh, cooler, and they're scarce. And majority of it was all empty then I look around like, oh man this ain't this ain't supposed to be this what stores have and there was like paper bags like from back in the day and with like like 11.99 15.99 bundles and the, the the store shelves were empty and then my dad said you need to listen to John don't forget listen to John my dad even said, he told me, tell your, see, he's from New York. He said, don't forget to tell your brother, you know, because he had the New York accent. So I text my brother, and I told him, I said, man, I had a dream vision with Dad and, and John the Revelator. Man, I know it sounds wild, man, but God be speaking to me, and, and angels come and visit me in my dreams, y'all. Like, y'all need to listen to what I'm telling you. Y'all better prep. And then I was like, I will. I was like, is it almost time? And my and my dad was like, yes, it, it's getting closer. Time's almost out. That's what he said. He, he looked at me and said, time's almost out. But it's time to prep, son. Don't forget to tell your brother. And I woke up, my heart was racing. It, it felt like I, I was, like the dream was for real. It felt so real. And, uh, and now, uh, now it's time to order from josephskitchen.com. Like, it, it, it keeps replaying in my head. Don't forget to go to Joseph's Kitchen. Like in the Bible, yeah, Joseph's Kitchen. Like the seven years of good, seven years of bad. We're about to be in seven, we're already in seven years of bad. What y'all gonna do? You know, and then yesterday I got a word from the Lord and everything, like, you know, as a personal, uh, from another uh, female evangelist, uh, from another church I'm connected with, Safe House Fellowship. And, uh, and my patience, it's, it's about my patience because I welcome everything that's coming. Everything that they're about to, the persecutions that's coming, the everything, all, all that bad stuff. I'm like, good, man, that's that's great. Man, that, and the people ask me, why would you say that? And whining and crying. I was like, because the sooner these things happen, the internal revolution, 
But the rest of everything else, the sooner this happens, the sooner Jesus comes. The sooner Jesus comes, I ain't got to worry about this no more. I ain't got, like, because I'm trying to get everybody prepped and ready, and, and none of them are. And it's like the book of Job, chapter 19. I scream for, for help. There is no help. I scream for justice, but there is no justice. This is the time. These are the times. These are the last days. I want y'all to come to heaven with me. Come up out of that whore of Babylon already. Y'all ain't got too much more time. And yesterday, uh, when I was at church, uh, my sister in Christ liked my little slogan, man. You don't like how things are coming, coming our way? Pray about it. She's like, well, what y'all need to do is try some Jesus out because y'all trying everything else. I was like, I know that's right. Get them. Get them. I found that very interesting and nifty. But yeah, y'all try everything else out. Why don't you try some Jesus, man? Why don't y'all quit sinning and repent? Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh. Seek your salvation. Prep. Like, you, you better you better invest. You better start prepping now. Y'all ain't got too much more time. In Jesus' almighty name, I hope y'all follow this, man. Follow sound doctrine. Be teachers of the gospel of Christ. And get it done. Y'all ain't got too much more time. In Jesus' almighty name. Amen. Like, y'all really need to start listening to me, man. It's not from me. It's from God. Don't worry about me and my sins. Worry about you yourselves because there is judgment. And I know my Redeemer lives and he will stand upon earth at last. Thank God. I'm like, that's that's the only thing I got to work on is my patience. Because I know it's God's time, God's hands behind everything that's about to unfold. I mean, even the volcano going off in Hawaii and and the enemy invading through Hawaii and Canada, like that's coming. This ain't no misinformation. This ain't no false narrative. Like y'all better go to God now. Like, I won't be here much longer doing these videos. Like, my calling for this is almost up and, I, and, and God's put me, he, he opened up door, some doors for me that I'm going to be witnessing. I already been traveling the states, witnessing the people. Y'all, y'all go to God. Like, I beg y'all, y'all, y'all hurry up, and get right, repent, resist sin now. Not repent and repeat and stay in sin and think, oh well, I'm saved. Once saved, always saved. I, it'll be alright to smoke another blunt. It'll be alright to smoke another bowl. It'll be alright to drink another drink. Like, y'all gonna get left behind. I, I preached that boldly and stern, boy. Y'all gonna get left behind. I don't want y'all to get left behind. Y'all think it's hard now? Oh, you just wait. You just wait till it. Man, these days are almost up. These days are almost up. Are y'all ready? You ready to go to heaven with me? Or are you going to stay here living in sin and, and going to ride with that devil? Ride with that Satan agenda. Y'all need, need to ride with that Jesus agenda is what y'all need to do. I ain't preaching religion. I'm preaching Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay? I don't care what you are. Uh, you can be Baptist, Presbyterian, Pentecostal, blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, where's your passion for God and Jesus, man? Y'all better go to Jesus. I beg y'all. Y'all better start opening up that Bible and studying and reading and reading devotions and walking in spirit. Stay walking in the spirit of God. Like I said, y'all y'all, y'all try and do everything else. Why don't you try and do some Jesus? Why don't you do some Jesus Christ walk? Hmm? All right. What, does it offend you? Good, it's called conviction. Get out of your comfort zones already. Like, 
<laughs> you know, I even been talking about this with uh, uh, Pastor Gan. I was like, man, I can't even get nobody uh, that even helped me with outreach, let alone get all of them in at one time. It's a hit and miss. They're too worried about fornicating and, and doing drugs and drinking, so I got to bring it to them. But it's like I feel like I'm a solo person, man. None of y'all want to ride with me. None of y'all want to be in the last evangelist. None of y'all want to come out here and preach the gospel with me. Got my own classroom and everything. You don't want to help out with that? About to get my pastor license and everything. Y'all don't, don't find that interesting? Like, y'all worried about selling drugs, doing drugs, drinking, shacking up. Not even married. I mean, hey, abide in the Ten Commandments. Uh, uh, abide in, the, in Jesus Christ. Abide in that Holy Bible. As much as much social media y'all surfing, why don't you surf that Holy Bible, baby? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preach against it, man. I'm going to preach for, for God, from God, by God. Amen. Go to Jesus, man. I don't know how many more times I got to say this. I guess that... That's what, God, please pour your spirit out on them. Like they so blind and got scales over their eyes, they don't even want to listen to sound doctrine. They got reprobated minds and seared consciences already. I'm like, please, God. Uh, a lot of my people, they, they, they don't even care. They don't even care about God. They don't even care about Jesus, man. That's what bothers me. Like, y'all about to meet your maker. and uh, Are you going to heaven or going to hell? Can, can you honestly sit here and, and, and admit, like, if you're living righteous paths or unrighteous paths, are you living for the world? Are you living for your flesh? Are you living for the spirit? And you, or are you live, living for Jesus Christ? Living in the spirit, walking in the spirit, power of prayer, pray daily. I pray, I pray constantly throughout my whole day. God's blessed me. God sanctified me. God anointed me. God's opening doors for me. That I've never thought I'd be like this. Like, I wrestle with my flesh at times. But by God, I ain't gonna go back smoking, selling drugs, being a male whore, being, being gangstified. I went from gangstified to sanctified. You don't find that interesting yet. Man, come on, y'all. Let's go to heaven. It's almost time to go home. I feel it in my heart. So I'm, I'm getting dream visions left and right. I'm not even gonna tell you. Some of them... Are, it's just for me. But when, when I'm led by spirit and, and, and follow the voice of God, here I am. I don't care if you mock and scoff me. I don't care if you believe or, or don't believe. You discernment. Pray about it. Try everything else once you try some Jesus, huh? What's the worst thing that's going to happen? Conviction and, and you stop getting high. Stop watching ungodly things. Lay your eyes on godly things. Listen to godly things. Follow sound doctrine. Follow the Holy Spirit, man. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus, everybody. Y'all ain't got too much more time. Y'all better already be prepped up. Famine's coming. Plandemic's coming. Huh? Huh? The beast system's getting set up, and it's almost full throttle. It's coming. Guess what? Jesus is coming. The second coming. And that's not false narrative or misinformation. Don't red flag me, YouTube. By the glory of God. Let this video get out. Y'all better go to Jesus Christ. Y'all got too much more time. Like these are, dude, we're at the, almost at the end of the last of the days. Guarantee it. I promise you. I promise you. There's just too much lining up. There's too much research that I've done. There's too much discernment I've done. I, dude, it, we ain't got too much more time. Go to God. Jesus, please, God, touch everybody behind this camera, man, in this video. Please, Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for pulling me out the darkness. Please do this for my friends, family, and enemies before it's too late. I want everybody to go to heaven with me. In Jesus' almighty name, amen. Uh, 
if you uh, shoot me comments or thumbs up and stuff, uh, YouTube's been uh, blocking our comments, so I can't see, but thank you for commenting. Uh, thumbs up. You know, they do that because they don't want my YouTube channel to grow because I'm revealing stuff like this and speaking against sin and preaching sound doctrine. Don't like it, pray about it. Heck, y'all try everything else. Once you try some Jesus, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. There go God. Amen.